Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Good evening, everybody. You are all welcome to tonight's prayer meeting welcome, in sir. Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Let's close our eyes as we pray together. Our Father, we thank you this night. Our great God in heaven, we appreciate you because you are the King, you are the Lord, you are the Almighty God, the God that never forgets his own. Lord, we are here tonight to seek your face. We are here to call upon you, O God. I pray, O God of heaven, that tonight open heaven unto us and release your mighty blessings upon every one of us tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, we are praying, O oh God, that Father, that tonight you will do great things in every one of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. All the forces of darkness, all the powers that have been assigned to monitor us in any form, in any way, we, we destroy all all the activities of the wicked by the power in the blood of Jesus, even this hour tonight, in Jesus' name. Be with us in this prayer, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please, I want us to unmute ourselves. Uh, virtually all of us here, we have we just mute ourselves and we cannot hear anybody. And uh, it's very important that we unmute ourselves, please. Let's do that very quickly because this is the moment of prayer, the time for us to really seek the face of God. God bless you as you comply. Tonight, we want to open our mouth to appreciate God. We want to give him all the praise. We want to thank God because our God is good, our God is great. I hope, brother, you are hearing my voice. Are you hearing my voice? We want to bless the name of the Lord. We want to give him all the praises tonight. We want to thank God and say, Father, thank you once again yes. for the privilege you have given to us to see yet another beautiful day to come in with you, to tarry in your presence Please open your mouth and give all the glory unto God tonight. Open your mouth and appreciate God. Let's worship God. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Let's thank him because he's a prayer answering God. He's the God of all grace. He's the God of all power. He's the one that never, never fails. He's concerned about us. He's thinking good about us. He said, for I know the thought that I think towards you, thought of peace and out of evil to give you an expected end. We want to adore him. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, I praise you tonight, O oh God. Mighty Jehovah God, we worship you once again tonight. Thank you because of the excellency of your power. Thank you once again because of what you are prepared to do and able to accomplish in our life tonight, O oh God, even as we gather before you in prayer. Almighty God, we celebrate you. Almighty God, we appreciate you. Almighty God, we honor you. Father, we say thank you, Lord. Receive adoration and praises, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Please, can we unmute ourselves? I'm not hearing anyone responding. Let's unmute ourselves. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Tonight, by the special grace of God, we are looking, we are still looking at the subject of Dream killers. Dream killers. By the way, when we talk about dream, how does it sound to us? What does it actually mean to us? When we talk about dream, 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 dream. Yes. 
Some people will say, well, when I slept, uh, when I sleep in the night, I was slept, I slept in the night, I had a dream and all that and all that. Yes, that is a dream. And the uh, dream can be likened to an ambition. Dream is likened to an ambition. You are so pregnant of one particular thing and say, oh, this is my plan. This is my dream. This is my what I intend to be in the nearest future. This is what I am thinking I want, I want to be. Maybe you just you have started imagining your within you having a riding a car or building our, a house somewhere, or maybe working in a very big place, or perhaps you we are thinking about how God will lift you up and all that and all that. That is a dream. And of course. Dream, on the, other hand, on the other hand, can be likened to a cherished aspiration. What you aspire to be, what you intend to be in the nearest future. Of course, some people say, well, they are dreaming to become a missionary. What a wonderful vision. What a wonderful dream. Look at the case of Joseph in the Bible. We are looking at the case of Joseph in the Bible. Joseph, I mean, that's Genesis chapter 37. Genesis chapter 37. You know that when this young man, as at the age of 17 years, he started when he was with his father, he had a dream. In fact, he had two dreams. And uh, those dreams, he told this story to his elder brothers, his brethren. And that became a problem to him. He told them his dream. And because of that, they hated him. You know, they hated him. And then they envied him. And then they started planning what to do against him, how they might totally eliminate him. They know that surely when they kill him, then his dream will go off. All the things that he's planning, all the vision, all the aspiration, all the desire, all the power of imagination, what he intends to be in the nearest future, everything will just go into extinction. That was what the enemy planned against this young man. But thank God. Glory be to God. God has planned for Joseph. God has planned for Joseph. But let me just read a passage of this scripture, scripture that really struck my mind when I was going through this scripture. Genesis chapter 37. Genesis, please open your Bible. If you have your Bible with you. Genesis 37. I want to read verse 18. He said, and when they saw him afar off, that's talking about Joseph's brother. The brethren, the brothers of Joseph now, when they saw him afar off, they saw that Joseph was coming. That man, that dreamer, he, he was coming. That man that had the dream, that dreamt about this, about that, he even had the dream that all his brethren, they bowed before him. He said, when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. Listen to me very well. They conspired to slay him, to kill him, to destroy him. Do you realize that as they are planning to destroy this young man, they want to kill him. It's not even him that they want to kill. They want to kill his dream. They want to kill him and kill his dream. That is exactly what we are praying about. So I'm talking to you tonight before we pray. This particular incident that is talking about the, 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 the praying against dream killers. Praying against the dream killers. Who are these dream killers? Forces of darkness. Powers of darkness. Forces from the village. Forces from the town. Forces from the father's lineage. From the mother's lineage. Those who have said that, ah, as far as this one is there, they will not allow him to succeed in life. They will not allow him to enter into his glory in life. They will not allow him to be able to become somebody in life. And they want to sit down and begin to torture and torment this individual. That's why we are praying tonight, brethren. That's why we are here to call upon the name of the Lord. And this night, number one thing I want us to pray about, and we are going to pray, we are going to ask God. And say, God, every power, every force of darkness that have been assigned to kill my dream, Lord, let them be destroyed tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth, please. Can you unmute yourself, brethren? I, your obedience is better than sacrifice. Let's unmute ourselves. Let's pray. I want to hear, I want us to hear ourselves. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Let's ask God tonight and say, God, every power that I've been assigned.
to, you know, to kill my dream. You want to ask God and say, God, let them be destroyed by the fire of God tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I believe you understand what I'm saying. I believe you understand what I've just said. All the forces of darkness, all the powers of darkness, all the forces that have been assigned against your life, against your family, against your lineage, and against your wife, against your children, and I'll be assigned one way or the other to kill your dream. You want to ask God and say, God, all those powers, oh God, Lord, tonight arise in your power. Let those power be rooted out. Let them be rooted out by fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Let me tell you, God has a, a, a beautiful plan for our lives. The enemy is trying to kill that dream. He's trying to walk Thank against you. the plan and the program of God for your ah. life and for my life. That's why we have to pray and say, God, every <laughs> power of darkness, every force of darkness, that have been assigned, you know, to, to, to kill our dream, to kill our aspiration, our desire. You want to ask God and say, God, arise tonight to God. Begin to silence them tonight in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and pray. It's time to pray. It's time to seek the face of God. It's time to call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, all the, all the powers of darkness, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against the flesh and the blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in other places. You want to ask God and say, God, all these forces of darkness that have been assigned against my life, against my destiny, they want to kill your dream, they want to kill your life, they want to destroy it, they want to cut it short. Right. You want to pray and say, God, arise tonight to God. Lift up your standard and begin to dismantle all the powers. In the mighty name of Jesus, let those powers be rooted out. Let them be dismantled now. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon God. Let's ask God and say, God, arise tonight to God and begin to fight on my behalf. In I, Jesus' name, in, we are free. free. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. We want to pray, brethren. Hmm. I read Genesis 37, verse 18 to us. When the brethren of Joseph, they saw him. Look at it. I read it again. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, sometimes I want to tell you, if you look at our own life altogether, where we, are, where we came from, some of us, we came from all those idolatrous families and all that. We have so many dirty, dirty things are being practiced. We have so many evil things are being practiced left and right here and here. And there are some that cannot even go near. They cannot even go to their village or to their town or one thing or the other because of so many, many strange things being practiced there. And those people there, they, are, they want to study your star. They want to they know the kind of person this person will be. And so they want to begin to attack. They say, well, if we cannot kill him, then we have to attack his dream, his aspiration, his vision. And you just observe the moment you are making progress. You are making progress one way or the other. Either you are almost getting to the place of success. Something will just happen. And then you discover that uh -uh, instead of them giving you that job, instead of you to succeed there in that thing, Instead of you, you are just, just a milestone to that success. It's just a stone cut to that place. Yes, something strange will just happen. And they will say, no, we don't need you. We are going to pray. That is the handy work of the enemy. That is the enemy at work. Who doesn't want us to fulfill our destiny? And they want to kill our dream. We are going to pray tonight. All those powers, all the forces that besiege our lives, they besiege it on the left. They beseech it on the right. They beseech it everywhere. And they said, no, as long as they're still alive, as long as they're still in the land of the living, we will not be able to enter into our glory. We are going to pray tonight, 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 and say, God, all those conspirators, all those powers that are conspiring together day and night, and they said, no, they are not going to rest until they ensure that they kill our dream. You want to pray and say, God, Holy Ghost, bring them down. 
Holy Ghost begin to begin to subdue every one of them totally and completely tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every power that have been that been assigned to fight against our dream, to fight against our progress in life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Are you praying, my brethren? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. It's a very serious matter. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. All the dream killers fighting against the progress of your family. All the dream killers fighting against your wife, fighting against your husband. All the dream killers fighting against your children. And they say, no, they will not be able to enter in, into that glory land, into that promised land, into that land of promise that God has given to them. You want to ask God and say, God, lift up your standard against all these dream killers. Let every one of them begin to perish. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Let's ask God, let's open our mouth and begin to pray against all the activities of the dream killers. In our life, in our various life, open your mouth and pray. They are the one fighting against your family. They are the one fighting against your marriage. They are the one fighting against your children. They are the one fighting against your wife. They are the one fighting against your husband. They are the one fighting against your, against your career. You want to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, tonight to night to go. All the dream killers of God that said no. Until they do carry out their, their mission, they will not rest. We want to pray and say, go. Lord, arise tonight, oh God. Let them be clear they get to collapse. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let them begin to collapse right now. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. I read from the book Amen. of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 8. If you have your Bible there, you can go along with me. The book of Isaiah chapter 8. And I'm going to read verse 9. He said, associate yourself together. Associate yourself, all oh, ye people. Who are those people? All the conspirators. Who are those peoples? All those dream killers. He said, associate yourself, oh ye people, yeah, and they shall be broken into pieces. I'm talking about the dream killers. Those that doesn't want you to get to your promised land. They don't want the only Joseph. Joseph of old. They plan the against his Joseph. The is coming. They will not allow him to enter into the promised land. They say, we are going to see what will become of his dream. You are going to pray. Look at your life. God gave you a dream. You have been thinking, I want to get married at this so time. I want to I want to have my own children. I want to raise my family. I want, I want to build my own house. I want to have my own company. I want to do this. I want to do that. And yet the enemy is saying, no, you will not be able to get to that promised land. You want to ask God. The Bible says, associate yourself together. Oh, ye people, all oh, the conspirators, all oh, the dream killers, ye shall be broken into pieces. You want to pray to them and say, Go, all oh, the dream killers, Lord, let them be broken into pieces. Let them be broken into pieces by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. In the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, all oh, the dream killers, all oh, those who are standing on the way and they're saying, either in the family lineage, the father's lineage, in the maternal side, even, even all together, you want to pray and say, God of heaven, Lord, begin to smash every power, all the forces of darkness standing on the way, even to block us, to, to hinder us from getting to that promised land. You want to ask God and say, Lord, let all these conspirators, all the dream killers, let them begin to go down. Let them begin to go down. Let them go down by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Let them begin to go down now in the authority of the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray once again tonight. We want to tell the Lord that every conspiracy against your dream, the ambition you are having, the vision you have, and they say, no, this vision even though you cherish it so much, this aspiration you have been having, this desire that has been in your mind, they said, no, this thing is not going to come to the limelight. We are going to pray and say, God of heaven, every conspiracy against our dream, let those conspiracies, 
Let everything be rooted out. Let everything be consumed by the fire of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. All those conspiracies against your dream, against your aspiration, against your ambition, against your desire. Look at the plan and purpose of God for your life. God said, for I know the thought I think towards you, thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. You want to ask God and say, God, every conspiracy of the wicked against my life, oh God. Lord, let everything tonight be born by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anywhere they have taken your name to, anywhere they have taken your name and your evil my name to, either to the shrine of the wicked, to the shrine of the devil, you want to ask God and say, God, answer them by fire tonight. Begin to answer them by the fire of God. Let the flaming fire from heaven, fire from the mouth of God, let it begin to consume and begin to demolish every activity and the works of the devil right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, oh Lord, every activity of the dream killers, oh Lord, let everything tonight, let everything be roasted, be, be, be roasted by fire. Rose, let everything be roasted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. We are going to tell the Lord once again. The Bible says, take counsel together and it shall come to naught. All those conspirators, all the dream killers who are taking counsel together in the secret corner, in the village, inside the water, in anywhere, and they gather together and they are mentioning your name and they are mentioning your family lining and they say no, this family will not be will not be liberated. You want to ask God and say, God of heaven, Lord, you have the master plan of my life in your hand. It's not in the hand of the devil. It's not in the hand of Satan. It's not in the hand of these dream killers. It's not the hand of conspirators. God of heaven, oh God, your master plan for my life, oh God, begin to fulfill it unto me, oh God. Unfold it and begin to fulfill them unto me. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Anyway, you are listening to the sound of my voice, please open your mouth. Pray with all your heart tonight. He said, and ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all your heart, pray. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, visit us once again, O oh God. Fulfill your plan and purpose for my life, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray tonight as we round off in this section of the prayer. We are going to ask God, the God that jealously guided the feet, the dreams, and even the fulfillment of the dream of Joseph. That same God is still alive. We are going to pray and say, God of heaven, O oh God, the dream that you have for me, O oh Lord, that vision, that aspiration, that ambition, that thing that I've been, I've been desiring from you. Oh Lord, guide my feet until that, that dream, that fulfilled, that dream, is, that dream is fulfilled in my life. Oh God, lead me to that promise that as you did in the case of Joseph, his dream became fulfilled. His brethren, they bow before him. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Joseph remembered that dream after many years. He said, yes, God has eventually fulfilled that dream. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God, oh Lord, that dream, oh God, that you have put upon my heart, oh God, begin to fulfill it in my life in the life of my wife and my children, oh God. Begin to bring, bring, bring it to pass, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, fulfill it once again unto us, oh God, tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hand over to Pastor Ali. Thank you, Please, Pastor, Pastor Ali. Pastor Pastor. Pastor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you so much. We are still praying. And I, I thank you so much, Pastor uh, Shegun Wolabi. 
as a coordinator for the pastor's online prayer meeting. We normally have every mm -hmm. Sunday. Please. Uh, somebody just in, told, put in private chat me now that he has been on the waiting room. Please, uh, host, let a lot of people into the prayer prayer meeting, to the prayer conference. Someone is private chatting me now. He has been on the waiting room off and on. Let's please, uh, host, let's allow them in, please. Now, as I will bring this, uh, this series to an end. But four weeks ago, we started this, we made this series. And uh, a lot of these ministers being called to minister to us in different ways. How the Lord need them, we thank God for that. Dream killer. Do you know the nature of dream killer? Now, let me tell you something. Uh, the dream killer, their forces is that to, their, their main plan is to hinder and to stop progress. Understand that. If you do not understand the battle, if you don't understand the, the, the war, you may be lost in the war. So dream killer, their nation is their forces, but they, they, their plan and their agenda is to hinder progress and stop progress and destroy the dreams of an individual on this way to the good land. And please remember that the enemies call to steal. They come through dream to steal. Before mm -hmm. any manifestation of any disaster, of any challenges that took place, it has been concluded <laughs> Do you get that? Before mm. any calamity happen to any individual, it has been concluded in the dream, in the dream land, in the spirit realm, before the manifestation. Glory to God. And most of you do not understand that. All of a sudden, calamity happened. All of a sudden, destruction happened. How does it happen? It has been concluded in the spirit world. The activity of dream killer, they have invented such people border and they overthrow them. I mm. pray for some of you tonight. God will give you victory in Jesus' name. Amen. It is your inspiration. It key how many people marriages he have destroyed, dream killers. How many people spiritual life they have thrown down, drink killers? How many people business they have thrown down, drink killers? How many pastors that have daughter and the devil have misled them into the war? Drink killers. He called to kill, to destroy. That is their purpose. That is their aim. You must understand before you look at that. That is drink killer. If because you may not understand this, that's why I'm trying to. The definition of it, but identify the drinking lad. Number one, they operate through fear, they come, they put fear in the innocent heart, they put doubt, they discourage. They apply the four D's for the drink killer, they apply four D's to, to terminate the believers. First D, discouragement. The second D that they use is doubt and despair. This dream killer work with these three beats to terminate people that are on their way to the promised land. John 10 verse 10, the fifth commitment was still to key to destroy. But Jesus said, I care that they may apply and have it more abundant. Men and brethren, this is a message you must not take with left. Second mm. Chronicles 7, um, or chapter 2, verse 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us. But we, we are not ignorant of the devices. They are not ignorant of the devil devices. And because they are ignorant of Satan devices, the devil overthrow them. I pray the power of God will give the victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, this is not quiet time. This is a prayer program. 
and except you are in a noisy place or you are in a road, yes, I understand, you can put yourself, but if you are alone in your house or wherever you are, and people are not disturbing you, please emote yourself. Please, this is program. It's not a quiet time. It's, this, 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 this is a program. It's not Bible study. It's not a quiet time that you just you are just listening to the preacher, listen to the uh, the the, the, the and you are just, just no. That is why people have problems and challenges. Time to pray, they, they will not pray. I can't <laughs> The enemy will not overthrow you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that he may be able to withstand evil days. Listen to me. There are evil days that dream killer are programmed in the life of people. There are evil hours that dream killer are programmed upon the destiny of people. There are evil weeks the dream killer are projected upon Families, take unto you the word of God that he may be able, hey, hallelujah, to withstand in the evil days. Nothing but all to stand. You will stand in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, when we started this series, I told you there was this particular sister that had a dream. And when, he, when she tree, she saw herself with her same casket. She went to bought that a she bought that casket. Ah, coffee. What are you what are you doing with it? And then she, 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 she took it away from the shore without seeing knowing. The husband stepped the step in the night. Guess what happened? The husband just passed away. And when the mm. husband died, she blew an alarm that if she had a dream that she went to buy a casket. And look at behold, the husband died. He did not know that the enemy had projected death in his in, in her family. He did not know that the enemy had programmed this so to take her husband away. Little does she know. You dear, when we are when we are talking about killer, you are saying what is Pastor Ale saying? What is Pastor Ale saying? That is many people the enemy have thrown them down. As soon as she knew, she prayed against every spirit of death, calculated death, premature death. That dream should be perfected and be overthrown. Mm. The Lord, the Lord will destroy. A program of dream killer assigned to kill your dream, to kill your marriage, to kill you Amen. spiritually. This time, Amen. I will overthrow them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And tonight, I want to encourage you. So, as I bring this series to an end, they say before I before before when I started series. I opened it and I began to invite other ministers to come and take it. I follow instruction. I have it in mind to take all the old series this four weeks. But as I wait upon the Lord, the Lord began to say, cause so and so. Cause I, I wanted to call a pastor yesterday with Pastor Shepard, but the Spirit was going to say, I should get that pastor. I should use this, this other pastor that means that to us today. And then you may not understand. If, if, if I come to need, I don't think, I don't think casually. I always say from God. I always follow direction. I, 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 and, and if you if you are just there, just casually, you you don't take what we are saying serious. You don't open your heart and don't, you 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 do not pray, my dear brother, my dear sister. Ah, I pray the enemy will not overthrow you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Without going to much preambles, I just want to release you to pray so that by the grace of God, for the few minutes we have, for the few minutes we have. Maybe what I will do is that I, I will post my note. I will post my note upon the platform so that you can go through it and then you can also like the outline you can pray as well. We are, we are going to pray. Number one prayer. Prayer of divine protection over your dreams and your destiny. Prayer of divine protection. That Praise God guides you. Oh God, everlasting Father God. God. Dream killers. That God will protect you. I am asking for a part of dream killers. I am asking for divine preservation and protection over the dream. They come to kill your marriage. They come to kill your marriage. They come to kill your marriage. They come to kill your divine protection. They come to kill salvation over me and my family. Oh my God, my brother. Lord, 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 Lord,
Men and brethren, as I am talking to you, please, I want you to open your heart and open your mind and pray. Because this series I am bringing to, to, to an end today, I will not bring the series this year, except the Lord say I should go back to that series again. And where whatever we are doing this platform, as many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And I believe this, 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 this series coming to an end is for somebody in their platform. As I told you in my introduction, that the that the, the dream killer come to steal to keep or destroy. Mm -hmm. As I told you, before any physical manifestation, it has been concluded spiritually. Hey, are you hearing me? Before mm -hmm. any before any physical manifestation of any pro, pro, program and attack mm -hmm. and disaster mm -hmm. for mankind, it has been concluded in the mm -hmm. spirit war, in the dream war before humanity. Don't mm. say this woman behave like this. My my husband is behaving like this. Ah, my my brother, my sister. The devil have captured your husband spiritually before your husband be captured. Be this behavior. The devil have captured your wife spiritually because if you start to manifest, the way you behave in her. That is why you must you must put on the whole arm of God to so withstand against the wife of the devil. Don't wait, don't wait. Every program of the enemy <coughs> of the dream killer in my household. Hey, you are going to ask the Lord to throw them down. Mm. It will program the program hey, in my man. household. Listen to me, listen to me, listen, listen, listen to me. You see, sometimes you don't understand this dream killer, the true arm of somebody's head. As a person, my head, oh, yes, my head, my head, my head. All of a sudden, the person collapsed in feather. Mm. What up? What up? They, do they know that in the, before that arrow manifests, they have concluded in the spiritual already to take the life of us? Just mm. 
The Bible talk of arrow that fly in the day. Hey, I want to tell you, there are some arrow that fly in the day. Maybe if God permit me, I will talk about destroy evil arrows. If God permit me, I will talk about I will, I will prepare a program destroy evil arrows. There are some arrows. The Bible talk of arrows that fly in the day as the places that walk in darkness. There are some arrows that fly in the day. Pew, 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 pew. You eat people on their head, you eat people on their waist, you eat people on their ankle, you eat people on their mouth, you eat people on their children. He, he, he destroys things. People arrows, power, arrows, weapons. You are going to pray. Every weapon the enemy using against me and my family. The Bible says, No weapon fashion against me as a pastor. You are going to pray. Every such weapon you are using. They speak the name of the weapon. Holy Ghost destroy their weapon. Holy Amen. Ghost throw their weapon down. Amen. Holy Ghost Amen. constrain their weapon. Open your mouth and pray. Weapon the enemy. Steal your money. He didn't need your money. He come in the difficult not to steal, not to steal your property. He didn't need all the super party to steal your eternal destiny, to see your righteousness, to see glory in your life, to steal mm. and to steal and to destroy. Mm. He destroyed people's families, husband, one side. Wife, one side, children, one side. I mean, Christian home, it destroys people that got married all of a sudden. The woman said, if you want to be palming her head, wearing trousers, painting her mouth, putting her earring and all that. And the husband said, that is not the will of God. He said, that is your own, no. Leave me to live my own life alone. And people come not to steal, to kill, to destroy. Sometimes it is working upon, make them stop and tell you the enemy take away the precious away from those children so that their father and their parents do not focus upon spirit, spiritual things. Mm. They are pastors, they cannot need the church of God because they have wayward children and they are battling with mm. their children. How can they need the church of God when, when the home is not settled? The thief commit not to steal, to kill, to destroy. The, the aim of the enemy is to overthrow your testimony. That is his program. You are going to, and there are people that the devil have carried a lot of preciousness out of their life. He can't to steal their victory. He can't to steal their dominion. He can't to steal their power. He can't to steal their Holy Ghost. There are people that they are born again, speaking in tongues. They never come to steal those gifts away from their life. But the Bible says, and I will restore to you. The years the locust has eaten, they can't grow up as a caterpillar. You are going to pray whatever they have carried away from my house. They oh please Lord. recover all. When the Amalekite came and they invaded, they said, They may pursue the recover. You are going to pray whatever they are going to do. By the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, your spirit. 
Oh God, if I take many me, oh Lord, and all the blessings of the Lord is the first Lord, we contend with them and take out out of my life, of my family, out of my life, of my siblings, father. You you can pray for 30 minutes at a stretch, but you cannot pray for 10 minutes to finish your attire. You can't pray for 10 minutes to attire. Even when we come for corporate prayer meeting like this, you cannot go pray your attire. And you, you, are, you, are, you are saying, when are they going to round up? When are they going to round up? It's getting too long now. We did not round up again. Ah, when you are full of the Holy Ghost, you will not be thinking about when are they going to round up when you are in prayer, when you are in even in prayer, when you're in that prayer, when you soak yourself in prayer, when the prayer overwhelms you, you are lost in the garden of testimony. Oh, you have to call the Lord. You, you, you throw your wash on prayers. You are not looking at Jesus. You are looking at Jesus. That is where the power of prayer overshadows you again. Pray that God will empower your spirit. Then the Lord will so open for the enemy to come to carry out of your life the gift of God. Are you, are you full of the Holy Ghost? You come to carry your spirituality away in the power of righteousness. Now, you can fight now. You can see you anger is still here. He took a humility away from your life. No more humility again. Your temper is very odd. Your, your temper, your temper, your temper is very, very high. Any spotting anger boasts up and anger, anger will talk over your life. You are not like this before. The devil comes to see to keep you strong. The dream killer keep the minutes in your life. Dream killer keep passion in your life. Where can you recover? I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten. They can't come from at the caterpillar. Call up for the Lord. Call up for the Lord. Let the Lord restore. Let there be a restoration. A restoration in your life. A restoration in your soul. A restoration with you. Let the power of God restore the presence of God that shall restore your life. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what it is. Any spot you have been agitated. Any spot. You are 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 why can't you pray that the Lord will restore back your sanctification experience? There are people that have lost sanctification experience. No more sanctification. Even their salvation is shaking. Their salvation is shaking. The precious gift and the benefit of, of your gift of Christ in you, the devil comes to carry those things away from your life. Will you continue like all the prayer meetings? Will you come for prayer? Will you continue like this? Will you not pray for a change? Will you not pray that God will send you back in your heart? That you dream killer will not be with your people. That you dream killer will not be with your people. That you dream killer will not be with your people. The spirit of the spirit of holy and dandar has even overtake you. The spirit of holy and dandar, holy and dandar, holy and dandar, and that spirit will overtake you. You will find fault upon people, you find fault upon brethren, so you will always find fault upon this, find fault, find fault, this devil will not be able to keep you. You are condemning this, you 
Tu as contaminé la diga. Tu as contaminé contaminé son monde. Donc, si tu es une si tu es une bouteille, tu as une bouteille, tu as une Amen. Hey, Amen. You know, let me let me tell you be, be, before I round up. You know, you know, sometimes, yes, somebody wants to help you to have something, and they have promised to help you. And the person say, I will do this thing for you, my sister. I'm going to promote you, my brother. I'm going to help you, my, my brother. And the person that say want to help you, in that two brother A, two brother B, and brother B or sister B say, Don't help him, don't help her. That is how you always used to do talk. Don't mind me. Those are what I'm saying, dream killer. They try to kill your blessed helper. They plant evil seeds upon the heart of those who are supposed to help you. And they, and they, they suicided you. Those are dream killers. Those are people that kill your divine helper. Those are people that kill the people that God has placed in you, place before you to assist you. There's those people who speak negative tea, evil tea, to your divine helper. And your divine helper hand is very tight to assist you. Dream mm -hmm. killers. They are in the mm -hmm. church. They are in every way. The evil they are, they are, they are in our platform. Many of us they are, they are even online prayers as a as, as a mini. They are online dream killers. Mm -hmm. They spread mm -hmm. they, they people dream killers. You are going to pray. Hey, the Bible say it they say to me, pray this prayer. This is the last prayer I'm giving you now. The Bible says it is a righteous thing to recompense tribulation. To them that trouble you. Hey, mm. you are going to pray. Every power troubling me and my family, the Lord shall trouble them. Amen. Troubling me and my household. Every power, oh, any power troubling me and my Amen. household. Amen. The Bible says, this is a to the confession to them that trouble me and my household. Oh, the Holy Ghost has trouble them. He says they don't need it. God has wiped away from the world of peace of mind. Trouble them. Trouble them. You need that to know. That is what the Bible says. That's what we have to do. So, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Which mighty Father, you pray. Amen. We pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Men and brethren, as I round up this session tonight, this a dream killer, a series tonight. All what we have said from four weeks ago, go back to our YouTube, listen to those messages again and pray them in. And for this one tonight, I I too, go back to the go back to our YouTube page, listen to it and pray it all over again. I pray for you, whoever that trouble you, whoever that trouble your children, whoever that trouble your marriage, whoever that trouble your family, God shall trouble them. Amen. Amen. The Bible says it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation for them that trouble you. 
the scripture cannot be broken. I stand yes, up so. as a minister of the Lord. Every man or whether that have trouble you, I decree God shall trouble them. The Bible says, Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Over to Pastor Matthew, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, um, we cannot have all the pastor we have in our hand. Uh, by the grace of the Lord, uh, we can never be a loser. For somebody yes. to prepare a message for a week, uh, inviting all other pastors to be a particular, you should know that it means a business. And then what a business is means, the end justify uh, mm -hmm. the means. And then I want you to know my sister, uh, you lie down, my brother, as you sit down, my colleague, my brethren, everyone of us, we are more than 26. I think about 10 people on the YouTube and then about 16 on the uh, on the online. I especially, I want to receive the blessing of the, our pastor at the end of the program. I wish you see me and lean down. I don't know whatever situation that is, you it is your own situation. Please, ready to receive the final blow on whatsoever that be an hindrance to your progress. I've been always saying it. I don't want us to be coming to the prayer meeting on Thursday just for fun. You need to have a specific uh, reason why you are coming. And you need to be able to testify at the end of the year that one hour every hour uh, Every week is not being wasted. In here, in, I mean, where we are here, they pay for one hour. So if we are still doing overtime time that like we are doing, it's 1.5. So you should be ready that if we, we can work for the people and they pay us like that, Almighty God is going to pay us abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. So, no matter how you're strong in the word of the Lord, no matter how you're strong the second the second, the second time, uh, one of the, the when I was in the campus, somebody entered and the center. He just been born again. He doesn't know. He does not know any Bible fast. I want to be rushing now. He does not know any Bible fast. Only what he know is the foolishness of God is better than wisdom of man. Now he just born again, and the spirit is directing him to go and preach. The only Bible fast he knows is the foolishness of God is better than wisdom of man. That man went out. He prayed the word of the Lord. He shared the testimony. Ah, uh, today, if there's only thing you know in the Bible, that ask and you shall be given. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all those hindrances in your life, in my life, is being carried away in Jesus' name. So I'm encouraging you to lead to ready to bless his people. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your blessing will affect us, will affect every one of us in Jesus' name. Once again, Amen. what is that dream? What is that dream that you have, that you think you want to achieve this year? Or from since you married, or since you know that you are becoming a woman or you become a man, that you have not been achieved. And then you are laying it. Even you want to forget because you say, okay, I, I have children now. Let me let it go. But I want to tell you, because we have terminate the life of dream killer in our life, all those things that is disturbing you, they have been terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You want to be a millionaire? You want to be a teacher? You want to be a principal? You want to be a school owner? You want to... You are renewing the dream tonight by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, you want to say, Pastor Matthew, what is giving you the boldness? You know, initially, I want to go to the uh, to the King James Version, uh, fashion, but I don't like the, the, the way he, 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 they wrote it there. And I went to this fashion. I saw this fashion. He said, for there is no spell, either from your family, from anybody, from any prophet, from even yourself. Maybe uh, you mistakenly say, okay, you do something. He said, even if I do this and this thing will happen, this thing will happen. The Bible says there is no spell against Jacob, and no divination against oh, Israel. Me, if we now be said of Jacob and Israel, what great thing God has done. And I want you to say this thing after me. 
Ah, for there is no spell. I want us to say it after me. For there is no spell. Against, you will not put your name. Against this person. You are disturbing us. If you are not, uh, be with us, sir. So, for there is no spell. I want us to say it again. For there is no spell. spell. (laughs) Against, you will not mention your name. There is no spell against Matthew. I want you to mention your name again. There is no spell against Peter Bose. God bless you, Pastor Peter. I know divination against Matthew Akamu. I copy Peter Bose. So, there is no divination against Peter Bose. It will not be said of Matthew Akamu. It will not be said of Peter Bose. What great thing God has done. What great thing God has done. What great thing God has done is this man is, is your testimony. And I want you to call upon the name of the Lord before Pastor Alice Sanchez it. That everything that has been disturbing your name, your dream. Everything that has been stopping your name, your dream, or your children, or your personal life. It is not where you want to be, it's not where you be. What you want to stay is not where you stay. Where you want to what, what you want to become is not what you want to be. You are, you are, you are, you are becoming. What you want to be in the nation is not what you are, you are, you are in the nation. What you want your marriage to be is not how your, your marriage is. What you want your children to be is not how your children is. Why you want to accomplish all what you have accomplished? I want you to call upon the name of the Lord now. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you are no spare against you. You are no divination against you. You are going to get your destination in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to I want you to rebuke all the all the thought of protection, all the all the thought of it's not possible, all the thought of all, 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 all the thought that can be bringing you down, all the thought that say you cannot achieve it, all the thought that the, uh, the, the, the year has come. All the time that if you start it today, how can you do it? Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Against your family, against your wife, against your husband, against yourself. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, there is no divination against you. There is no spell against you. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to achieve it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to get it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to be a doctor. It's going to be not impossible. That so many people. Me against me. That is the man they call Ali Baba on the line. That man does not go to any school. Look at him now. He is one of Dr. Ali Baba. There is nothing impossible for you to achieve. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. What is that particular thing? What is that particular thing? What is that particular thing? That is what is in mind. 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 That is what is you are not in this institute, but for which it has been come to a new dream, a new to God is going to be your life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. For just 30 seconds, I want you to dream about it. Uh, you may not know, Pastor Peter. I will, I, will, I will prophesy into his life today in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. and to many people. Amen. Yes. Uh, and uh, you will humbly please accept me the way I may describe to please just humbly accept me. Ah, uh, okay. Now, let me put in. Let's say you have Uber and he's using it to carry. I'm doing publicity for you too, Pastor Peter. You will pay me. He has Thank Uber, you, sir. And then he's using You want to go to uh, other Kutono. You want to go to Kano, you want to go to maybe another town of first act. You are in Lagos, you can call him. That Pastor Peter, come and pick me. I will go to this way. I will go this uh, you you make the bargain. Either fifteen thousand, either twenty thousand, either thirty thousand, then you, you pay Pastor Peter. Ah, uh, you see our brother there, Pastor Shagun, by the grace of the Lord. Our dream, our aim, our prayer for him is about the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. He will have his own school. Amen. But God is going to do it in Jesus' name. How God is going to do it? Amen. And God is going to open his eye? I don't know. Uh, I think the same thing with Pastor Ali. 
uh, and many other. You are there, you want to ask for Pastor Matthew. Yeah. If you don't know, I want to be buying a house and be selling a house, Pastor Ali. So we are putting all this on your name. That all the dream killer, they've been killed today in the name of Jesus Christ. So, like Pastor Peter, my dream for him is that Almighty Father, yes, he has one car. But he will have many cars. Whereby we will be working for him. And he too Amen. will be uh will be sitting at home. They will come and report to him that this is this is this is this is Yes, Pastor it, it, we, the humble beginning. Pastor Shego will have his own school. Whereby we employ teacher, uh, employ uh, employ uh, employ teacher. And long it will become a place of the school, and they will be coming and be accountable, and it will be the administrator of the school in Jesus' name. For mm -hmm. example, they have my dear sister. I'm not listening to you. Lying down. I don't I only know God know what you are thinking about. But the way I see you always, I know that you are thinking you have been planning. I don't know if it's marriage, I don't know if it's about the family, I don't know about the, the income, I don't know about what whatever I may say. But my dear sister, I'm assuring you today. As a pastor have said, all the dream killers have been killed. And by the Amen. power of the Jesus Christ, you are going to get to your destination in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So Amen. Of course, I cannot mention that on YouTube, I, don't think that. I want you to think of what you have been thinking. Even if you are a millionaire now, your dream is that your business should not go down. Your dream yes. is that you should be a, a multi-purpose one. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, that dream will not be ill in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We got to your destination. All Amen. life is being removed. All things that will disrupt disrupt your life is being removed. I will not want you to have the assurance. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, this is my dream. This is what yes, I want to achieve. This is what Pastor and Professor say in my life. That by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, I will get to that destination in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will stop me. 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 Renew your strength, my dear brother. Renew your strength, my dear sister. Renew your strength, my dear, my dear, my dear pastor. Renew your strength, my dear, my, dear, my, dear, my colleague. Renew your strength, our, our listener. Renew your strength. Renew, it's not late. I'm telling you, it's not late. 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 It was a job. 55 years, the man that is the second richest person in the America started having the money. Uh, Obama, uh, Obama ended it at the age of 55. Uh, uh, what is it? How started at the age of 70 something? Call upon the name of the Lord. 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 Yeah, 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 Joseph started at the young age. Yes. Uh, look at the, 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 the age Moses started. Moses started at the age of 80. It is not, it is not yet time. You are not dead. But the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as power is in the life of Caleb, power is in, in, in your life. As prayer is in the life, in, in, in the end of your life, prayer is in your, in your life. He said, I'm still now, I'm still young. Call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all those dreams, you will take them back in the name of Jesus Christ. Take them back in the name of Jesus Christ. You will achieve this. You will get there. You will get there. Offer me, Pastor Ali. Oh, pray for us. Pray for us. You will get there in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Jesus. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, before I round up, let me just share two testimony with two people on the platform. This platform, the sister is this is online now. Sister Olabo did. I think it's, it's online. I can see her now. It's online. He wrote to us um, about three, four weeks ago about an exam. She wants to write an exam. We should pray for her. Gosh, we make her to make it to pass the exam, come out with a flying color. And by the grace of God, prayer has been offered on Thursday on this, on this prayer platform. And guess what? She writes me back and says, Praise the Lord God, I pass her prayer. She go for the exam. She passed the exam. Now she's now going to the next level of the exam. I am the exam now. And we are going to. To pray for her as well. There's one particular sister again that nobody has proposed to her in marriage. In the middle of a platform here, nobody has proposed to her. She private shot me and all that. And I asked her, what, what, what happened? She said, did not want to pray out of the will of God. After I cancel her, we pray with her again. She came to the prayer online again. And then look at me, she wrote me that praise and Somebody took her to the marriage committee and they are calling her now for marriage. Not one, not two. And what am I saying? I'm telling you that God is with us in this prayer platform. Mm. All this prayer we have been praying for all of you here, maybe on Thursday, maybe on Monday, maybe on Saturday, on Sunday, all the same. And tonight, no exception. 
God will perfect everything we are picking up for Him tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you tonight because okay. the power belongs to you. Mm. When men say it is over, God take over. I will go. Oh, take over, it is over. Hey, every person that surrounds all the aspects of this prayer online, I command those battles in the name of Jesus to be silent, to be thrown down in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 I will say, in this written of me, thou shalt also be created. He shall be established. And who can say what dwellest thou? I decree. Under the frequency and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As people want to have more vehicles to employ people working for working for him, so shall it be. Amen. Amen. So, here that I want to mention your name now. You are online. I'll see you online. You have verified me already. And, and I pray to know the will of God in marriage. I from tonight, God will open your eyes, God will open your way. The God began to need you and in the station. All those pray for the will of God in marriage. I am praying a blessing. You will not marry your enemy. Amen. Amen. For those people from tonight, Father, connect them to the bone of their bone and connect them to their life partner in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For those, for those who have married, it's like the devil has infected their marriage. He has infected their house. Every heart of the devil. Of on any family tonight, the Bible says, "Inside the family, all island, and let the people reveal their strength." I command every strange voice in any family, let those voices silent from tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, "The Lord is our light and our salvation." The Lord is the strength of our life. Who shall be afraid of when yes, our Lord. enemy comes over? And then the storm comes over. I pray tonight, every mm -hmm. enemy, dream killer that comes, that comes to the dream, that comes spiritually mm -hmm. in the spirit world, I pray they shall stop who they shall fall in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 From tonight, I decree, open door for everyone. Amen. 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 Please don't I decree and I declare the Lord set an open top before you. Go Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Pastor Paul, Pastor Paul, Pastor Paul, Pastor Paul, Pastor Paul, Pastor Paul online now. But the spirit of God says to lift him up right now. I lift up Pastor Paul into your mighty hand in Javi. Father, all the challenges in his life, Father, I am praying and asking you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, give Pastor Paul solution and make a way for him. And I pray that the enemy that is rising up on the head before him, I pray you will silence him, you will throw those enemies down, you will give him victory and testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Every family represented here tonight. Thank you, Father. That brought over here, your, your wife, your wife is having some, some challenges, and uh, uh, your, your, your wife is staying with you, but you're having some challenges, some fear, something fear, and pretty much some fear, and, and it's like trouble here, trouble here, and, and then you may not understand. Father, that arrow from the pit of hell. That arrow from 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 the cold. That arrow from 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 Set that free and let that enjoy a freedom spiritually. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I can see from out, you know, from the truth of to, to power and it was what it was. It's like something just confusing my life. I pray everything your life is set to in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tonight, free for everyone. Tonight, free for everyone. Amen. Free for everyone. Tonight, I decree for us from 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 everyone. Tonight, I decree for us
Do not forget the Saturday uh, prayer meeting hour of free truth. And then I want to tell us that even in the uh in the world, one like If you don't tell people, people will not know. But let us continue to publicize. Look at my word. Publicize. Do not let it be when it is tomorrow or today, then we remember. Let us do it every day. And as we are doing it, God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Uh, mm-hmm. We make a covenant, mm-hmm. not a covenant, and don't let me misuse word. If we don't do it, that's okay, but I just want to remind us. We said the testimony uh, we share in the beginning of the January, we did not do it well, the way we supposed to do it. We promised that we will do it in July, but I can accept that, let's say, let's postpone it to December. That's okay. I just want to remind us that we make that promise. We may not be able to fulfill it because of one thing or the other. God has been faithful as to every one of us, and we continue to be faithful in Jesus' name. Uh, so Amen. apart from that, our time has gone. Please, let us meet on Saturday. And then on the, I want to say something. I've been so busy now. I didn't want to mention it before, but because Pastor Ali mentioned it, I need to be separating the prayer uh, to the matter come on too. Unfortunately, I have a lot of things in my hand. God will give everyone a post peace of mind in Jesus' name. But in Amen. case I, I'm doing some things now, if you go to Matthew Kamon, uh, whereby we do the 24 hours, anytime you see prayer request, that's the, 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 that's the, that's the, what is it? The program we hold on prayer. You can listen to them. The only thing that, I'm sorry, I might have not able to edit them. That's the only thing there. But anywhere you see prayer requests on, uh, they, will, they we will say, the Pala Bible Church, Charlotte Fit live stream. But you see the logo is prayer request. It is a prayer we pay that is there. Okay. You editing them so that I can put it to where it's supposed to be. But you are with me. Everything, God will make a way in Jesus' name. So I said that mm-hmm. Pastor has listened that they should go back to YouTube to go and listen to it. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. I'm very sorry to take our mm-hmm. let's share the grace together. The grace of so our Lord Jesus Christ, the, the love of God, God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Surely, Surely goodness. goodness. Mm-hmm. All days of our life, we shall do in the house of the Lord forever, ever. Amen. Thank you. You will not know sufferings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All lack in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For that particular person that you have not eaten tonight, and it's like, oh God, is it how I'm going to be? Continue. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, oh, everyone will open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will share testimony. So shall you be in Jesus' Amen. name. Pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you.